in terms of performance, you know, we were just, it was bench press, squat, and then just go run. You know, that was, that was, that was what we did, you know. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, that I would have been a, a better, a more functionally proficient athlete had I had uh, an APX type system in place. You know, what resonated with me, and I'm, I'm really excited to, to watch the impact that it has with our kids, uh, is a, a little less traditional approach to strength training, you know, where uh, the, the functional activities that you do, where you're actually learning, teaching your body how to move athletically as opposed to just pushing weight. And when I first got to New England in 93, it was still all about power cleans and squats and bench press, which, uh, you know, as a quarterback, uh, you know, how much can I power clean? Uh, I'm not sure anybody should ever really care. Uh, but that transition happened um, while I was playing, where by the end of it, it was a lot more functional activity. You know, you still did the, still did the lifts, uh, but, uh, but there was more functionality uh, involved in it. Uh, the thing that I really like from what I've seen with APX is that those lifts and the functional movements happen at the same time all the time. And you continue you're continuously going from one to the next um, and, and teaching your body how to move as, as you're building the strength, not in addition to, but as you're building strength. You know, there's, there's a change in culture happening with the fo football program at Summit High School right now. And it's been led by a, a wonderful coach, uh, Joe Padilla. Uh, but with the addition of APX and the team building aspect that that brings, in addition to uh, the strength, flexibility, and efficiency that that brings, uh, I think can be an, in, an integral part in the change in culture in the football program here. You know, I've been paying attention now for a number of years to uh, the the best athletes at the NFL level and, and really at, at any sport, uh, whether it's basketball, track and field. Uh, and one thing that you, that you see is, is that there's a fluidity in how they move. There's flexibility in their back and their hips. Um, you, you, know, you, don't see, you don't see any great athletes that are really bound up and tight. It, it just doesn't happen. And so when you watch these guys move, you watch the, you know, Brian Urlacher or you know, some of these, these amazing athletes, they, they, they're, they're fast and strong, but they're just very flexible at the same time and, and their, their bodies move efficiently. And, uh, and you know, hopefully, um, you know, that's something that, that's going to become part of uh, the athletic program at a younger and younger age. And I think APX can be at the forefront of that. There are a couple of things that, I, that, I'm, that I'm anticipating for my own kids. Number one, um, you know, I want to see them stay injury free. You know, I really do. Uh, number two, I want, to, I want to see them continue to learn how to move better and move more efficiently. Um, and both of those things, uh, you know, I'm 40 now, so, uh, and I have the aches and pains and my low back hurts and all of this stuff, but, but all of those things, I also want to see that carry with them through, through the rest of their life. And by, by teaching their body to move correctly as young kids, my, my anticipation is not just for football now, uh, or whatever they're doing in the future, but just for their life and livelihood, you know, to have a body that, that, that works efficiently is something I'm excited about. Yeah, it's real simple. I, you know, I want this, this high school football program at Summit uh, to be competitive at the state level. And uh, they haven't been you know, for a number of years. And I think that uh, with the addition of APX, uh, that uh, you know, we've got a chance to move into that. We've got the athletes to do it. Now it's uh, you know, now it's time to make it happen.